Hello everybody, I'm Cliff Jones, founder and managing partner of Conversion Marketing Experts. And what I want to walk you through today, especially as you go into your next quarterly, six month, 12 month plan of action. Hopefully you have a plan of action that organizes your sales and marketing. And underneath that would be a marketing automation platform that includes managing all the relationships you have for prospects and clients and customers, whatever you call them, uh, your vendors, uh, key partners, affiliates, relationships managed, email marketing, a nice dashboard for tracking all your campaigns, because that kind of system underpinning a clear plan of action for sales and marketing tied to a good strategy, a fundamentally sound strategy for going to market, will get you better sales and marketing results sooner rather than later. The number one breakdown, ladies and gentlemen, is in the process of following up. The follow-up breaks down because the process is not clear and people are not committed to the process. Ever start a project and it didn't work out and analyze what happened? Well, it happens when the process breaks down for following up and getting the little pieces done. I'm gonna take you on a quick analysis of a checklist we use. It's part of our process for action planning. Develop a strategy, develop a plan, go get more customers. That's how you increase sales and marketing results and learning over the, uh, along the way. But this I'm going to walk you through because it's absolutely crucial for setting up and optimizing any system you have um, that's running your sales and marketing. Because sales and marketing, team sport, contact sport, never ending sport, especially if you're marketing online. So with SharpSpring or HubSpot or Infusionsoft, because we work and act on any of the systems, even if you're just using a little baby uh, email marketing system like MailChimp or Constant Contact that's working for you, go through this checklist and make sure you have all of these points optimized. So an overview of your system, you should have a fundamental understanding of the core functions of your system and commit to using them. Your people should have clearly defined user roles and permission settings that allow your data to be secure, always backed up, and roles and responsibilities clearly identified for anybody who takes an ownership role in your system. And if they're not going to take an ownership role of the system, get them the heck out of the system. They're just going to screw it up. You have to have a fundamental approach to taking your strategy into the system. Your strategy for going to market, getting customers, identifying customers, telling a story. We have a fundamental process called the nine laws of conversion marketing. And that maps to the action planning process that you are seeing a snapshot here of. Next is your customer tracking and lead scoring because all the way on your inbound marketing funnel to the sales process, you want to be tracking your leads and prospects and scoring them so you and your people know where to focus your highest and best use of time. System branding, emails, web forms, landing pages, all that branding needs to be consistent. Colors, brand identity, messaging. Sometimes that gets out of hand when you're managing multiple channels, uh, more than one website, a massive community uh, on social media, a Facebook group or some sort of mastermind group or membership site. All of your branding needs to be done uh, consistently well across those platforms. And each campaign, Twitter, sponsored Twitter, sponsored campaigns on Facebook, anything you're doing in pay-per-click, direct selling, trade shows, all those should be tracking into your dashboard through your system so you see those numbers. System branding for emails, that's a duplicate, I gotta clean that up. Customer journey and pipeline setup. Now, if you ask me how to set up your marketing funnel, I need to get clear in your sales process. Okay, that's customer journey, the marketing kind of conversation that melds with the pipeline or the dashboard we have running in this case for our company, SharpSpring. Uh, whatever that system is though, there's a process for selling. There's a journey for the prospect to be coming into that selling process. We have to map that into your system. We have to manage your contacts and companies with integrity. If you're managing big accounts and companies, that's different from contact-centric systems. And your systems need to reflect that because your content is not going to sell anything or engage a company. You're engaging people who work at companies and brands and relate to your stories. 
your existing list, um, you know, that's a big thing to review and clean up and set up. Right now, we're working with a number of companies. The lists are complete disasters because the data is in multiple places. It's not well organized, and there's no um, there's no one central dashboard pulling it all together. So that's a critical thing to review and dial in, especially for your plan of action going into the next quarter year. Comments, notes, other data. Okay, when we're importing that from legacy systems, we always want to know, hey, what's useful that's coming into the new system so that we're bringing useful, clean data, including comments from past conversations, past notes, past tasks and activities that can get mapped into the new system. If those aren't clean and well organized in your current system and you ever want to change to a new system and get the most out of this system, you got to get all of that dialed in, meaning tasks and notes and comments being consistently uh, managed by your team, your people, your users. Contact ownership and assignment of new leads. This is a big one because imagine your website when it's doing what it's doing. Visitors coming in, opting in, asking to learn more about what you're doing. If you have a sales organization or customer service reps, each new customer or prospect should be owned by somebody in your system so that they have ownership of the follow-up process, especially if there's a sales touch, sales visit, sales call, some sort of direct interaction. Who owns that contact, that prospect, that customer when they come into the system, and, and how does that get assigned? What is the process for getting that assigned in your system? Core campaign marketing. This is where the rubber meets the road. Core campaign marketing reviews, okay? Your contact us. What happens when people come in and contact you by phone or they fill something out? What kind of love do they get? We review all of that. Is there a special offer or download they can get when they visit your website one or more times that allows them to understand more about how you solve their problems? For us, that's the nine laws of conversion marketing. Um, and that is the new prospect web form that they might give you their email and first name uh, through, at which point you get permission, you earn permission to follow up with them by email, phone, direct mail, depending on what you're offering, the value, and um, what they're willing to give you. Somebody becomes a new customer, okay? What happens when they be become a new customer? You buy a, a luxury car, oftentimes that manufacturer, or that uh, marketing department, they're sending in the mail to you, a welcome kit, a magazine, um, and generally, it's, uh, it's tactile, it's significant, it feels good, and it reinforces the decision of the customer buy. So what's happening in your system, your follow process for people and new customers? Targeted offers and promotional campaigns. Limited time. Offers with urgency. The better your offers are presented within the to your to your audience, to your email list, to the visitors on your website or landing pages, those target offers have to present value, leverage urgency, uh, affinity, uh, and the more familiar and compelling they are, the better your your offers will convert. So, targeted offers and promotional campaigns to existing lists are a big deal when we're setting up and optimizing systems. Reconnecting with existing uh, people. How many times uh, do you have people in your list you'd love to call and keep in touch with them, get them a monthly email, but it just doesn't happen? Again, classic breakdown in the follow-up process because it's either not automated or people aren't clear on how to get it done and make it work well so that it's a genuinely positive marketing result. Surveys and review campaigns, very powerful, very difficult to people to get surveys completed and reviews. They're up there with completing polls. The conversion results are lame at best. Unless you call people on top of emailing them, direct mailing them, then the response rates will go through the roof based on the number of touches. What happens after you lose a piece of business? Um, how do you communicate with them? What do you learn internally, externally? And then what kind of long-term drip campaigns working for you? Um, is it a monthly sort of follow-up uh, tips letter? Is it a weekly inspirational thing like we've done in the past with a, a daily inspirational note? But your long-term nurture and follow-up has to synchronize with all of these other core campaigns when you're looking at setting up or optimizing any digital marketing and sales enablement platform like a SharpSpring, a HubSpot, Infusionsoft, 
act on. Those are the what I consider the middle market uh, organizations, the sweet spot that af offer the most promise for a smaller business to uh, buy the buy the solution, implement it effectively for under ten thousand dollars, let's say, given other good assets, and then actually make it work successfully uh, uh, over sustainable periods of time. The secret to all of this, ladies and gentlemen, once you have uh, the setup of your systems done, bolted into a clean strategy, marketing customer journey, uh, effectively interacting with the sales process, your sales organization, customer service, whatever your model is, all that has to flow into one. And this is the way we create bulletproof processes driven by automation systems that are extremely affordable today. SharpSpring, $600 a month with us, a few thousand dollars to set it up extremely well within 30, 60, or 90 days. And as you can see, what you're looking at here in closing is a template of the Conversion Marketing Experts Digital Marketing Action Plan. And it is, in our humble opinion, the ultimate sales, marketing, and business uh, plan uh, action planning system that brings strategy uh, together with execution. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, always appreciate your comments and questions on the Conversion Marketing Experts blog. Feel, re feel free to reach out and call us or um, join, our, uh, join our, um, our list, download the nine laws, and learn more about all this fun conversion marketing stuff. Thanks for hanging with me this long. I'm Cliff Jones with Conversion Marketing Experts.